Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is that time of the month again. My month in skincare review, what new products I have been trying this month in the realm of skincare. This month has been good. I have found a couple of things that I have been using steadily for the past couple of weeks and I'm really quite impressed with them. So let's go ahead and jump in. This portion of the video is sponsored by Current Body. If you've watched any of my previous skincare reviews or a lot of them, they have Current Body in them in some form or fashion, typically with their red light mask, which I've been using for almost a year now. I talked about that in my last video where I was talking about how I healed my texture. I absolutely love that mask. I love red light therapy in general. And I am currently trying out a new red light device for hair. And this is the Current Body Skin LED Hair Regrowth Mask, Helmet, Device. I mean, I love this so much, y'all. I love a device. Chad told me that I look like I should be a stormtrooper, but I don't even care. <laughs> because of what this does, for the hair. Now, I know I am going to be a broken record to a lot of y'all, but if you are new to my channel, my number one source of self-consciousness, something that I would change in a heartbeat if I had the option to, is my thin hair. It is something I have had my entire life. You will see in the cutaway how thin it is up here. I do use like an eyeshadow on my scalp to kind of fill it in, which I've shown in previous videos. And I've talked about the amazingness of red light therapy for the skin, but it also has great results for hair and hair follicles. Now I have only been using this for about two weeks. So this is really just kind of an introduction, educate you on what the device does. And then I will update you as I use it continuously because the best results are seen over a period of 16 weeks using it 10 minutes a day. So this basically uses red light therapy in a wavelength of 640 Nm to fast track hair regrowth, to rejuvenate the hair follicle. It is for both men and women. It is great to treat reverse pattern balding, thinning hair, receding hairlines, all of the lovely stuff that we tend to deal with as we age. So the red light wavelength increases blood flow to the hair follicles and extends the antigen growth phase of your hair. It's not making new hair follicles, okay? It's not a magician, but it is kind of tempting and prompting those hair follicles to regrow hair when sometimes they just stop doing that, at least they have on my head. Devices in general have been shown to show 66% more hair growth than topicals or supplements or even lasers. And I will say I'm someone who cannot take any form of a hair, skin, and nail supplement because most of the time they have large amounts of biotin and I cannot take that internally or I will break out pretty badly. So I have never been able to really take advantage of lots of the trending hair supplements that promise to you know grow all this hair because I just cannot take those certain ingredients internally. So I'm going to cross over and show you how I use this device. You're gonna be able to see how my hair looks straight after drying it. So with absolutely nothing on my scalp and you're gonna be able to see the thinning areas that I'm most concerned about. But real quick before we do that, I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna put a little picture up on the screen and show you what this device does within your 16 week journey. So the first little square you're gonna see from zero to four weeks, which I am currently in. And this is where it is basically increasing that blood flow and oxygen to the existing hair follicles, kind of prepping them to start working again. And then you go over into the four to eight week phase where nutrients will go to the scalp surface again to wake up those hair follicles. So this is not an overnight magic treatment. You are going to see it gradually help the hair regrowth over time. And then you go into the eight to 12 week mark. And this is where the hair follicle actually moves into the growing phase. Okay. So it's starting to grow outside of the skin and the hairline, you're actually gonna be able to see a little bit of growth. And then 12 to 16 weeks is where you're gonna really start to see the maintenance of that hair growth and the follicles really going to work. So let's cut over real quick. I'm gonna show you how I use this device. All right, freshly washed face, freshly washed hair, and I'm ready to put the device on. Now I will say they do recommend not having anything in your hair product wise 
at least that's going to be touching your scalp for it not to interfere with the red light penetration. So if you're someone who likes to really work in like a mousse or some tonics and potions and serums and all that, I probably wouldn't before you use this just to make sure the red light can be used to the best of its capability. I didn't talk about this in the beginning, but this one of the really cool features of this device is that it is developed with Bluetooth capabilities and it has built in like headphones that you can move up and down depending on where you're kind of ear falls once you put the helmet on. This does come in different sizes as well. I am in the small medium size and I will show you my hair without any eyeshadow or anything in it. So see how we're working with some, some pretty big areas of scalp showing over this way. See what I'm working with, see? And then over in this area as well. So I'm having a little bit of recess in my hairline over in this area and in this area. So that's really what I am trying to focus on with this device. So it could not be simpler. You not, don't be jealous with how cute this is. <laughs> you apply it, adjust the earphones and just click the power button. It tells you that it's connected to your Bluetooth, so you can use it, you don't have to, but I can easily just watch a YouTube video or listen to a podcast or an audiobook or something while I'm doing this. And then after 10 minutes, it shuts off and I'm done for the night. Now I will tell you while I'm wearing this because I meant to tell you beforehand, but now you just get to watch me for a little bit longer. Because I do use eyeshadow on my scalp, and they say that they don't recommend having any product on. What I do is I use this after freshly washed hair, and then I use it the next morning, usually 12 to 14 hours later, before I apply the eyeshadow on my head for the day, and then wash my hair the day after. I wash my hair every other day. So it ends up where I use it every single day, but I don't use it when the eyeshadow is on my scalp, because I feel like somebody was gonna ask that, so hopefully that clears that up. So I'm gonna finish wearing the device and I hope this shows how very easy it is to use this device. 10 minutes a day is nothing, not hard to remember, love it. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful. Again, more educational than anything. I will definitely keep y'all up to date on my experience with it and my results, but I do have a coupon code. I always have a coupon code with Current Body. It is Mandy MUA, and that's gonna give you $128 off of this device. And I will have that linked down below in the description box. All right, let's get into the products, the skincare products. And again, it's been a good month. I have been liking the way my skin is reacting to these products. Let's start out with a body product. A friend of mine sent this to me from Beauty Counter, and this is their Reflect Effect Overnight Resurfacing Body Peel. So this is a serum. I'll show you what it looks like. Kind of like a gel serum that's composed of acids that are gonna help really rejuvenate the skin, exfoliate the skin, and it's specifically made for the body. Now, of course you can use your face acids on your body, and I often have, but because I got this, I really wanted to try it, and I mostly concentrated onto the back of my arms. I've always struggled with KP on the top parts of my arms, but when I started really breaking out with texture on my face, the back of my arms got really bad as well. So I have been using this on that, after I get out of the shower, I'll use like two pumps per arm and then go in with whatever normal body lotion. And so far, I mean, it's not gone, but it's helped to diminish it. So I really like the use of acids on the skin everywhere, body, face, no matter what. But so far, I've really been liking this product in particular. Now, speaking of acids for the face, now, obviously you can use this on the body as well, but I talked about this in my last video, so I won't stay on it too long. But Allies of Skin sent over their Mandelic Pigmentation Corrector Night Serum. So this is a combination of 11% Mandelic Acid. It also has Lactic Acid, which one is, is one of my favorite acids of all time. Mandelic Acid I really enjoy too, and it's very good if you struggle with acne in particular, but really anyone can use it. It has salicylic acid, it has bacuchiol, it has peptides, antioxidants, brighteners. I mentioned in that video, Allies of Skin is really a kind of one and done type of company where their products will target so many 
different things in your skin that you really don't need to layer a ton of them on top of each other. This is the same thing. So when I do my exfoliation nights lately, which is two nights a week, I will just use two pumps of this all over my face and neck. I will go in with the next product I'm gonna talk about, moisturizer, my Definage, of course, and I'm good to go. So again, really been enjoying this. Allies of Skin has yet to make something that I have not enjoyed, and this is no exception. Now, this is the next product that I go in with after the Mandelic Acid Serum, and this was sent to me by Coco Kind, and I know you can get Coco Kind at Ulta, and this is their Ceramide Barrier Serum. So it comes in just a regular kind of dropper bottle, very affordable. This bottle is $21.99 on Ulta, and I'm looking at the ingredients because they're on the box and I no longer have it, but it has glycerin, it has extracts, aloe leaf juice, beta-glucan, which is an awesome hydrator, sunflower seed oil, cholesterol, which I was listening to a podcast where they were interviewing Javon Ford, and I have followed him on Instagram for a while. If you do not follow him, you need to. He's a cosmetic chemist, and he has a wealth of information, but he gives it to you in such a very easy to understand way. And he said that one of his favorite ingredients to look for is cholesterols. So this has that in it. And again, lots of different ceramides. It's basically a very hydrating serum. It's soothing in my opinion. It doesn't have any actives in it, so it's great for me to layer it on top of a very active serum like my mandelic acid or whatever exfoliating step that I'm doing. I will go in with this after it lately and I really like it. I just feel like it soothes the skin, it hydrates the skin, it's affordable, impressed. Like it a lot. All right, let's talk about a couple of eye creams that I'm trying out. This new one from Shantikai that just launched is the BioLifting Eye Cream. So this is basically the little baby sister to their BioLifting Mask, which I have liked for a very long time, and I personally use it as a moisturizer versus a mask. It's a great overnight sleeping mask. It's beautiful. And this is the baby version of that. Now this is very similar in texture to the BioLifting Mask. So if you have used that, you're gonna know what the texture is on this. So this has a depuffing peptide in it. It has the botanical sugar in it that I feel like some of the other products within the Chantikai line has in it. And it's really pretty under the eyes. Now, if you've been watching my videos for any length of time, you may want to ask me, or you may be thinking to yourself, now, I know you love the Stress Repair Eye Concentrate. How does this compare? And I do love the Stress Repair Eye Concentrate. It's one of my favorite eye creams. This one is a little bit more moisturizing than that one, but that one tends to wake up my eyes a little bit more. So depending on what you're wanting is going to be dependent on what you pick. But for me personally, I find the Stress Repair Concentrate works better in the morning, and this one is better at night. So the new Chantikai Bio Lifting Eye Cream. And then another eye cream that I have been enjoying is from Restore C, and this is the Revitalizing Eye Cream. So Harbin House carries this line, and this is honestly a line that I haven't talked about much, but they do make my favorite hand cream of all time. I'm on like my third tube. It lives in my purse, and I go through it quite quite quickly. I cannot speak. But I hadn't really tried too much else from the line. I had tried their face oil, maybe something else, but I hadn't tried this, and I really, really like it. Now, if you want to know more about this line, definitely check out Harbin House's podcast because the owner was interviewed by Courtney, and the story is pretty phenomenal, but this is just a very nice eye cream that has their like signature ingredient in it, which again, I'm not going to be able to explain quite like the owner can. That's why she's the owner, but I have been liking this. It is definitely moisturizing, but I don't find it's too heavy to use in the morning, but when I do use it, I tend to use it at night because again, I like to use something in the morning that has some benefits of really waking up the eye area as well, like caffeine and stuff like that. This one is just something I've been reaching for at night and I really enjoy it. And this, I mean, you need the tiniest amount. So this like jar is gonna last forever, especially with the amount of eye creams that I use. All right, we're gonna start narrowing it down. We have four more products, three of which are moisturizers. The first one, 
is from Obagi. And this is the first thing I think I have ever used from Obagi. This was included in a package of mine that I had ordered some stuff from Harbin House and they kind of stuck this in. And this is the Hydrate Lux Moisture Whip. <laughs> moisture rich cream y'all i've been talking too much and that's what it is it is a moisturizing rich cream i am going to reach for this a lot i think when it starts getting colder because it is a little bit heavier but it does sink in really well i've had no issues with it it has a little bit of a scent but i can tell it's not added fragrance at least it doesn't smell like it to me and it's nice it's a nice overall rich hydrating cream that doesn't have a ton of ton of actives. I don't think it has any actives. So it doesn't matter what I use before it. And it is very hydrating. And then the final two products were sent over to me by a brand called Matter of Fact Beauty, which has recently started being offered at Sephora. And they sent over their brightening and firming serum, which can we talk about the color of this bottle? I will say, I think it's a little chunky and it's a little much for a one ounce product. For example, these two have the same amount of product in them. So one ounce and one ounce. So that's a lot of unnecessary packaging in my opinion. However, the color is beautiful. And then they also sent over their minimalist hydrating moisturizer. So let's talk about the moisturizer first since that's what we've been talking about. This is a 5% niacinamide moisturizer. It also has Centella Asiatica, which I absolutely love. That is seen a lot in K-Beauty, and I have a lot of products that have that in it, and my skin really likes it. And it has what they call liquid crystal lipids. It comes in one of the press down on the top and just the right amount comes out. Now, niacinamide, I've talked about how it sometimes is too much for me if I use too much. I don't have an issue with this as long as I don't layer it on top of something that already has niacinamide in it, which I have been using this in the morning and I don't use any nice of my products in the morning. There might be some in my SPF, but it's not enough to even bother me on top of this. But if I were to use like another 5% niacinamide serum and then use this, it would probably be too much for my skin personally. But the way I've been using it, I've had no issues. The reason I have been using it in the morning is because it does sink in really fast and it works really well under all the sunscreens that I have tried it under which have been probably seven or eight different ones. I tend to use a different sunscreen every day and I've had no issues. There's no pilling, there's no removal, there is no contrast to textures. I've really enjoyed it. It's, again, sinks in really well. This is the hero product though of the two for me. And this is their 20% L-exorbic acid, ferulic acid and maritime pine serum. So this is your vitamin C serum. It has the ferulic acid, which is shown to really up the effects of vitamin C when they are combined, combined together in one product. And it's beautiful. It is kind of a gel liquid texture and it does leave a glow. See that? But it's not a lasting glow. So I can rub this into my skin. See, it got a little bit better and have a healthy glow without feeling like I feel oily and doesn't have any scent that I can tell at all. And it's just a very beautiful vitamin C serum. I have liked it a lot. I've probably used it the past eight or nine days in place of my normal vitamin C. And it's beautiful. And I know the Sephora sale is coming up. You're gonna be able to get 20% off of this. So it might be something to put on your wish list if you're looking for a new vitamin C, but I've been enjoying these especially together. So good job, matter of fact, I'm gonna have to check into what other products they have and maybe add them to my Sephora sale list. So that is it. That is my roundup of all of my new skincare that I've been trying out. Of course, I will be doing updates if I continue to use these products, which I will, and find that they are even more awesome than I thought they would be. I will let you know. I don't anticipate any of them being less awesome than I say they are now, because if I was gonna have some kind of negative reaction, I would have already. I will have everything listed in the link below. Don't forget about the discount code for the amazing red light therapy device for the hair. I will have that listed below as well. Let me know if you have any questions. Be sure and like and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day.